Guys, we're back with Robbie Pruitt from Antler King, and we're asking him all those tough questions. So Robbie, here's a zinger for you. We talk so much about nutrition and what we can do for the deer. Um, let's just take the guy who maybe has permission ground, he's not allowed to put any food plots, um, but he, he wants to be able to see what animals, what, what deer are moving in and out of that property. Mm -hmm. um, what can he use when he's not allowed to put food plots in, he's gotta be really careful. I, I know you talk about things like camera magnets. What do you recommend when that guy's trying to take, let's say an inventory on his property and nutrition isn't necessarily the key focus? Right. Well, number one, he needs to check with, you know, his state laws to make sure he can use something. Right. And, and you know, more and more often these days, there's a lot of them getting down to a, a no bait, no supplement, all that, mm -hmm. uh, like where I'm from in Illinois. But if he can use that type of product, you know, he can get in there with our antler aid, our liquid, our jolt liquid, um, our buck bricks, our little tiny five pound buck bricks, stuff like that. I mean, and, and even, actually even a mineral. He can get in there with a mineral. Uh, the Lick Magic works unbelievable for it. Uh, but anything like that and any of our attractive products, you know, we, we got a line of them that as in our final feast and our afterburst, stuff like that. But, um, or you can go into a block like our Graniac block and actually benefit the deer white he's using it for a camera magnet. I gotta say the Graniac, uh, and especially the Graniac XL, yeah. it's probably one of my favorites because I love putting it out. I'll usually start putting it out in July. Mm -hmm and take a really, really good inventory of my deer because it just holds them. They, they stand and pose in front of that camera. Absolutely. And it gives me a pretty good, um, I mean, the deer love it, so, and I've got a high concentration of deer density, um, but it does give me a little bit longer time with that XL size. Yes, it really does. So, yeah, most definitely. That, that's probably the best thing we have done. You know, that, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but them 20 pound blocks, the deer eat them too quick. They do. You know, the, and you know, that's a, that's a good problem. I guess a good, bad problem to have, but the deer like them too much. And I know people think I'm full of it when I tell them that over the phone, mm -hmm. they ask me, well, how, how quick, will, how long will these one of these last? I said, I've seen it in my front yard last three times, three, three weeks. Yeah. I've seen them, uh, on a regular block. I've seen this one last three days, you know, and the, you, know, you jump up. I mean, it, it's crazy. You just never know. And, and I had them out for bird feeding, yeah. you know, and the reason I put mine out was with my house sitting back in the woods, woodpeckers destroy my house. For some reason they love that graniac block. So I put a graniac block out there and they leave, they leave my faucet alone in my house until it's gone. And then they start knocking on the door again, you know, but, but I, I mean, they, they, the deer will just come in and destroy them. And, yeah. but so we had to build something bigger. I personally, we talked about it. I don't know how it's going to work but I like to get it in the tub form mm -hmm. where I think like a cattle tub, I right. think it worked very well. It's kind of complicated to do it with that mixture, but I think if we could ever do something like that, it'd be a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, um, I think the, uh, the lesson here is that not only is the Graniac XL a great resource to go to for that camera magnet, nutrition, but it'll also keep woodpeckers from pecking on your house. You got that right. So guys, keep joining us every week where we ask Robbie all the hard questions.